Uh, Herman and Marilyn Gates. Uh, first off, it's certainly not very convenient to the older population in Rochester like this present senior center building is. Uh, and, and if this building is good enough for us, why is it good enough for the uh, children's uh, art center that's coming here? Um, and, and most of us do not mind being called seniors. In fact, we're sort of happy that we are seniors. <laughs> and so we don't mind being affiliated with a senior center. And uh, 125 Alive, huh, it certainly fits the location. Mm -hmm. And it fits the feeling that we're going to be alive. But Well, I don't know. I think that most people that we've talked to would be very happy just to be the senior center. So people can identify with that. If they come into Rochester, that's where the senior center is. They know where the senior center is. Lucinda Stockwell, and from Massachusetts originally. Okay. Now, how many years have you been coming to the senior center? About 11. Oh, I'm really excited about the, the new facility and very eager to get into the activities that are going to be available there that we don't have here. I mean, there are going to be so many more things and many more active things. You know, we're really looking forward to the warm water pool and all of the exercise ability um, opportunities and the arts. There are going to be so many more things in those areas that we'll be able to do. Well, I think it's exciting because I think it encompasses what it is we're trying to do, which is to be active, alive, live a full life, have lots of opportunities to be active. Actually, the other thing is, as I've traveled, and I, I've traveled quite a bit and visited senior centers, more and more across the country we're seeing that the names are not, do not include senior center in them, but they are, reflect the change that we see now in older adults. I mean, we... We aren't just knitters and crocheters, although we are in here, but we also are square dancers and we do exercise and we like to travel and do a lot of other things. And a senior center by itself, I think, was rather limiting. Betty Torkelson from Rochester. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the art room, which will be a beautiful new setting. Uh, we'll have natural light, we'll have windows, we'll have proper ceiling lighting, uh, we'll have a door to go out into a patio. We can work outside if that's our desire. I'm also very interested in the water um, classes that we'll be having because I love water aerobics. Um, the Whirlpool, just looking forward to the whole new setting. I think it'll be very convenient. Um, for everybody. Okay. We, could add, we could add some cute um, name to uh, the, the word senior center, okay. but I think we need to focus on the word senior center because that's what it is intended for. It's intended for we seniors and I think people coming from out of town, like all the people at the clinic, if it doesn't, if it just says 125 Live and I was coming from Texas, I'd have no clue what that was. I think maybe it was a radio station, but I certainly wouldn't think that it was a senior center. Okay. Uh, we recently had a couple here from Kansas, and he was at the clinic for six weeks for um, some cancer treatments, and um, she completed a few projects, and we just loved having them. Mm. But the way they found us was by looking it up in a city directory, senior center. So that's my concern. Will people know who we are? 